Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to get started with Script Cues Beta. It's for gold members only at the moment in its beta form. And um, yeah, once, I, once I get enough testing it'll go wider. Okay, so <clears throat> you can get there by clicking on our profile. And it lets you know here if I'm, I'm a gold member so I get to participate in the Script Cues Beta. Okay, this is getting started. It has a nice little seven step method. Alright, the first thing we have to do is download the script queue script. And we'll just copy this key here. Copy, let's see what happens. Just gonna paste that in there. Download. We'll let that download. Okay, we have to move it into our Oops, wrong one. We have to move it into our Play on scripts folder. We need them all. Plugins. Grab it. Drop it there. We gotta give it admin privilege. We need administrator privilege to move it into the program file. Alright. We need to restart play on. It's loading. I VNC into my uh, play on box in my media server. So while that's loading, we look at the next step. Select the plugins tab on the play on settings window. Browse for script cues and enter our play on scripts username and password. Okay, plugins. Play on script cues. I know it's in here. This is my dummy account. Let's click test. Uh, your login cr credentials are correct, and yes, I do want to apply that. Okay, let's go back and uh, let's test it. Now we have to drag this bookmarklet to our bookmarks toolbar. And it's a script queues. I guess I got two of them. I'll move that one. I only need one. I go to just about any video site where a video is playing and click the bookmarklet. See fully supported in block sites below. Okay, um, we have a list of fully supported sites. These are sites that I've gone through and have written custom code so that this they display properly on and play on. It has the correct um, video ratio and if it needs to be auto started, it gets auto started. Now at the moment there's a couple sites that I've blocked, so there's no confusion. Hulu is one of them because for some reason Play On cannot um, <coughs> Play On cannot access Play On's new API cannot access Hulu. I don't know if they block it on purpose or if it's the, the special thing I have to do. I don't know. I have a question on the forums for it. Let's see if I get that get that fixed. And Netflix is the other one because it requires a login password and cookie. At the moment I don't have I haven't written the code to uh, include this, but in the future, I plan on adding being able to log into websites and stuff. But in the meantime, let's just go to I mean, there's a lot of sites. In fact, you can go to this Xfinity, and I don't know if this is just for Comcast people or not, but um, you can watch a lot of Hulu shows from within Play On or from Xfinity. And just as an example, just click on this one here. And we'll go up to our add the script queues. And they'll let us know that it's added and that the Xfinity.tv is fully supported. Okay, we can close that. Next thing, let's go let's try uh, Justin TV site. Or, uh, I don't know. Let's just do this one. Oh, it's loud. Be quiet, you. Make sure it loads. Close that. Add the script queues. Oops. What is this? Oh, invalid URL for some reason. It's giving us an invalid URL. This is Justin TV. Call your agent. My agent. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Let's try something else. I'll fix that. Don't worry about that. Let's go to TV.com and pick the prices right. Let's just add that one. This is now to TV.com. It is fully supported, and if we go down here, it's our queue. We got um, 
And the nice thing is that with fully supported sites, the titles get trimmed down, so it's they look a lot better on a lot of sites that aren't fully supported yet. You'll get kind of a funky title if it has a lot of extra data in it. And I think we can, I'll show you just by going to break.com and going to video. Now I haven't tested this, so I don't know if it work. it'll work at all, but I'll click on Got Talent. Korea's Got Talent? Yes. Make sure that it auto plays, and I'll click you on this. Now what happens is, when you encounter a site that isn't in a database yet, it gives you this little warning, break.com is not in a database, it may or, not, may, or may not work. Um, we can request this support for the site. I'm going to do that now. Just click that. If you come across a site that you want to add in, fully tested, or fully supported, just click that little link. It'll send a request in, and I'll take a look at it. Right now, we have three videos in there. Two that are supported. <laughs> that's my... Uh, my uh, phone. Anyway, we have three, uh, two sites that are fully supported, and one gives us a little warning here. But let's see what happens. Let's go into Play On. Let's stop it and restart it. And while that's restarting, we could go to XBMC, which I use to uh, get into Play On from my access it from my computer. So let's click on Play On. We gotta wait for it to load. Alright, there we go. And we can scroll down the script views. And right we have a restart server option, which we we should do after we added any, but in this case, since I just literally restarted, we have our videos here and I can just pick one. I pick the uh Xfinity Comcast site. And we'll let that load. It could take a couple seconds with this um set up here that I have but in a mere matter of moments we should see if it works and there we go and this is coming from Hulu even though we can't access Hulu kind of in a roundabout way we can and this part looks kind of funky but all right let's try our break video it's untested, it's not a supported site. It may or may not work, but let's find out. Um, but as you can see, you add it, you click you add it to the your queue online. You just go to your play on server, you can if you if you don't see it right away, just hit your rest, hit the restart server button, play on re will restart. After it comes back up, your queue should be added in here. Um well, look, break works. You ready to so that's pretty cool. Boom it. Stop that. So, and that's that. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's how to get started in script queue. The lock can change during a beta. Um, if there's any questions, I'll start. A, I'll have a post on the forums, probably under the um, under the lab section of the forums. And uh, I hope you enjoy it.